Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own Roblox account in Fortnite Creative. Before we get into the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Also consider using code BRENNANDY in the item shop if this tutorial is helpful for you. Alright guys, the first thing I'm going to show you how to make is the manual generator. Go into the devices tab and grab an item spawn. Then, go into the consumables tab and grab a gold coin. Place down the item spawner and drop one gold coin into it. Now, customize the item spawner. Set visible during games to off. Set time before first spawn to instant. And set time between spawns to one second. Then, just place your item spawner where you want the manual generator to be. Now, if we start the game, you can see that we can grab one gold coin per second from the manual generator. Alright guys, now let's make our first automatic gold generator. You'll need four things for this. A sequencer device, an item grantor, and a conditional button. You'll also need more gold. First, let's set up the device that allows us to buy the generator. Place the conditional button and customize these settings. Set the team to whatever team's generators you're working on. We'll start with team 1. Then set disable after use to yes. Set key items required to however much you want the price to be. We'll set to 5 for now. Then all you have to do is change when activated transmit on. Each generator will need its own channel. We'll start with channel 1. Alright, now we have to set up the actual generator. Go over to a different area where you'll set up your mechanics and place down a sequencer. Set looping to infinite, and set the tempo to whatever speed you want the gold to generate at. If you set the tempo to 60 and the length to 1, it'll generate every second. I'll put a list on screen of different times. Now set start sequence when receiving from to channel 1. Once you have the sequencer and trigger all set up, all you have to do is set up the item grantor. Place down your item grantor device and drop one gold into it. Then, change these settings. Set receiving players to whatever team this generator is for. So for this one, we'll need team one. Now, for on grant action, set keep all. Then, all you have to do is set grant item when receiving from channel one. Keep in mind all these channel settings are different for each generator. So for this we're using channel 1, but for this one we'll be using channel 2. Now all that's left to do for this generator is drop one gold coin in. Now if we start the game, you can see that we can use our generator. Just go up to it with 5 gold, interact, and you'll see on the right of our screen we're getting 1 gold per second. Now let's make the second gold generator. Copy your original conditional button and copy it over to the next generator. Then change these settings. Keep the team the same, keep disable after use the same, and adjust the key items required to how you want it. Then change when activated transmit on to a new channel. We'll use channel 2 for this generator. Then we'll repeat the process for the sequencer. Place on the sequencer, set looping to infinite, set the tempo to the speed you want, set length to 1, Set start sequence on receiving from to channel 2. Yeah. Then go over here, grab your trigger, copy it over, yeah. and change when trigger transmit on to channel 2. Then come over to the item grantor, copy it, paste it, and change grant item when receiving from to channel 2. Yeah. Next, I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own unlockable room. Go to the devices tab. Grab the conditional button and the lock device. Place the conditional button. Set the team to whatever team space you're working on. For this, we'll use team 1. Then set disable after use to yes. Set the key items required to however much you want the room to cost. For this, we'll use 10. And then set when activated transmit on to channel 3. Then place the lock device right next to the door. Make sure it's blue. And then change these settings. Set visible in game to off, set starts locked to yes, and set unlock when receiving from to channel 3. Also make sure to grab gold from the consumables tab and drop it into the conditional device. 
Now, if we start the game, you'll see that the door is locked and we can unlock it with the conditional button. See, it starts locked, we buy this, and now it's open. The next thing I'm going to show you guys how to make is a customizable weaponry. Go into the devices tab, grab an item spawner, and place it down. Then grab some weapons, and throw them into the item spawner. Set random spawns to random, set visible during games to off, set time before first spawn to never, set time between spawns to instant, and set spawn item when receiving from to the channel of this weapon buyer. For this we'll use channel 4. After you've configured those settings, grab your item spawner and drag it where you want it. Then go into the devices tab and grab a conditional button. Place down the conditional button. Set team to the team of whatever base you're working on. Set disable after use to yes. Set key items required to whatever price you want this to be. And set when activated transmit on to channel 4. Now all that's left to do is grab some gold and drop it in. Now we can start the game and buy a weapon. And you'll see the weapons will respawn after we buy the first one. Now you've got most of the basics for making a tycoon. Using the steps I showed you, you can make your tycoon bigger and add more rooms and upgrades. You'll also probably want to make four different bases for four different teams. When you do that, you want to make sure you adjust the team and channel settings for each part. Once you've got your tycoon built, you'll probably want to add some game settings. Here's the settings I recommend. Alright, let's see everything we've done. We can manually generate gold. We can buy an automatic gold generator. We can buy a second automatic gold generator. We can unlock a room. And we can buy weapons. And that's about it for this tutorial. If it was helpful, consider liking, subscribing, and using code BrendanD in the item shop. If you need help with anything, leave a comment below or check the pinned comment.